Good morning, friends and family. Welcome to our Little Woods Homestead. I have a house update for you. So we'll go look at that. And then we'll go for a little nature walk, identify some flora around here. We are over on the opposite side of the road. We hired a boring company to come out and drill under the road from the electric service pole that's up against the white fence. ComEd said they will need to replace this pole and install a new one for our services. The boring company did call Julie uh, Julie, before you dig, and <laughs> marked where they could dig. The boring company was given an 18-inch leeway from where it was marked, and unfortunately, the boring company cut through a service line, and the service line was active, but the good news is that although it was an active line, it's not servicing anyone. So the boring company still came out the next day and fixed it. And it's not going to be part of our expense. It'll be between them and Julie to figure out who would pay for that. We're now walking over to our property And this is the role of conduit. Partial of it was used to go underneath the road and come up to this other side. The boring company put this conduit on top of where the hole is. It's a pretty big hole. And we also had the opportunity to purchase this roll from the boring company it which was really great because the cost was half of what it would have cost us from Home Depot or Menards so that saved us a lot of money and this is a thousand foot roll and we will need 900 feet of this roll to get all the way down to where the house is going to be The reason we hired the boring company and we're going to be doing the trenching ourselves is because the builder told us it was our responsibility to get the electric from the road to the house. And then once it's to the house, then the builder is going to take over. Come Ed, let us know that they do provide services to do all of this for us. However, when we went over the numbers, we're gonna be saving $9,000 by hiring the boring company and trenching it. And there you can see the hole with water filled up and we will need to get the water removed out of there in order to connect the conduit to the rest of the conduit that's on the spool and we'll also be able to sell the spool on safe Facebook Marketplace. They're going for about 100 bucks, so we can get a little bit of money back from that. And then we also had all this metal and fencing that we moved over. For when they put in the driveway. So that's our progress so far and let's go on and head over to the trail. So we're making our way over to the entrance. So what can we see? Well we're probably going to see a lot of corn until we get to the entrance and then we'll be in the forest. 
All right. But we'll probably see some hopefully native flora and lots of different trees. We have a really mature oak forest in the back. There's also a lot of invasive species of plants in our woods and we're going to be working on removing those plants. It's going to take years. We had a forester come out and tell us what he thinks of the woods before we even purchased it. He felt really good about the trees and the plants. There are a lot of older trees. There aren't not younger trees. So we will have to plant a lot of saplings. Part of the issue is there's a lot of deer in here. So they're eating all the small little saplings and they're not getting a chance to grow up. And then the other is all these invasive species. And right behind me is a I believe a Morrow's honeysuckle, but I, I know it generally is honeysuckle, is this plant. This is the honeysuckle, and it has taken over our woods. I was lucky enough to be here in spring, so I got to see the flowers on it, and I better identify it with the flowers. We have some more over here. These kind of teardrop leaves. Flowers can be different colors. The flowers for these ones are white. So this plant is just everywhere. And so we'll have to go in and start cutting those down, spraying them. And here's another one. What's this right here? There is a vine crawling on it, so these leaves. This is the start of our trail. My husband and I had pretty much did this by hand. We did not have large equipment come in here and do this portion. We were just so excited to work on it that he came through with the chainsaw and I just moved all the pieces to the side. We also tried to go with the lay of the land. We tried to pick areas to put the trail where there were less larger trees and more smaller trees, brush, instead of having to cut down any healthy trees. So here is a pokeweed. From what I've read, all parts of the plant, including the roots, berries, leaves, stems, are poisonous. So we have some of those. And it looks like the berries on this one are not yet mature. They mature into a really deep red. There are the berries. They're very green and have not yet gotten their deep red color. We're coming up to something pretty exciting. In the last video, we had come across a huge patch of poison ivy that was underneath the tree that we were cutting up. And what we have is a whole bunch of jewel weed. And jewel weed is native to North America. 
and it has medicinal purposes for relieving poison ivy. Here is a close-up of the jewel weed. It has beautiful flowers on it. Beautiful orange, bright orange flowers. We're coming up to the creek. It's moving pretty fast. This is just gorgeous. And the sound of the creek, it's so relaxing. Okay, we listen to the creek. Let's keep moving. Let's cross it. We're going to put this woods into the managed forest program. We can still keep our trails and ride on them. It's gonna take several years and still years and years after that to continue to maintain the forest. And we're also going to have to do this in sections. There's no way we can get rid of all the weeds in one go on, on this. There's just no way. So each year we'll have to pick a section, get all the invasive species out. Uh, we'll have to cut down a couple of trees. That's what the forester said. We'll have to cut down a couple trees to help so he also said we'll have to plant an extreme amount of saplings to overwhelm the deer. We're now headed towards the oak forest. I just saw a blue jay, but he's gone. That was fast. Yeah, the blue jay's not there anymore. Whoa. We also have wild raspberries. And we have wild onions. But we'll be able to see those things in the spring because they're gone now. We also have a lot of burdock. Don't get that confused with rhubarb. I can show you some burdock. It is not wild rhubarb. Here is burdock. It really does look like rhubarb, but it's not. We've got more over here. So we've now reached Oak territory and I can show you a couple oaks I've passed a few already but they are 
gigantic. Here's one. Got a like stand next to it. Big oak with a furry vine. <laughs> And there's another one. Here is a couple oaks and they just very mature oaks and we do not have any baby oaks, no saplings. So that is something we will have to work on. Here he goes. <laughs> oh, a deer. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna stay quiet. There it is. Look at that, you guys. It looks angry at me. Like, excuse me, stay away. All right. I am so excited we got to see that together. I was, oh, another one. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, a mom, that was a mom and two babies. That was the first baby and then another one came out. It lightly had spots on it and the mom gave a snort towards me put her hoof in the ground. I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> I'm in trouble because all I have is my phone, <laughs> the selfie stick, <laughs> which might be helpful, and my water bottle. <laughs> but they all ran off in different directions. So we're just gonna keep going so they can reunite. <laughs> oh. That was so exciting. Um, I have seen there where they, I think it's called bed down. I've seen where they've, they nest. I can see that better in the fall. Um, no, I mean, it kind of looks like it there, but I don't think so. In the fall, I can really see it because You'll see the leaves padded down and kind of moved around into a nest area. And they like, the deer like to nest in between big giant trees. So we're in the right area for that. There's huge trees. And then there's a fence line, which is our fence line in between another parcel, which is corn. So they're completely hidden from predators. And that's the good spot to be in. If I was a deer, that's what I would do too. Look at all these. Leaves of five, we're okay. And then up here. Hey, that's okay. The woodpecker can peck this one all they want. dead tree. I only noticed it because of all this stuff on the ground. It reminded me of a beaver and I'm thinking there's there shouldn't be any beavers this high up. So and I looked there and I'm like oh there's a lot of mushrooms but that's generally where the beaver. So I kept looking up. It's a woodpecker. Let's keep going. Oh, look at this. So I just learned about these from Luke's aunt. May apples. They're not looking so great, but in the springtime they were beautiful and they had this big round white flower underneath them. So 
So we'll do a spring tour so you can see all the beautiful flowers. So we are heading over. So this is where the tree fell. And you know there is a lot less poison ivy than there was. Interesting. But we're going to go around it. Interesting. Wonder. It's not that much. I could walk through it. So we're heading up to, to the meadow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did Luke lose something? I guess we better pick it up. It looks important, doesn't it? I guess I have one more thing to carry. I got my water bottle. Look. What happened? The trail doesn't go that way. That's interesting because I picked this up over here. And then all of a sudden that goes right over there. So, I think we will, we're finding lots of interesting things on our hike today. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen this before. What's that say? KTM. KTM, this is off his dirt bike. Oh. Wait until I get home and show him. I wonder if he knows it fell off. I'm guess you know, I'm guessing this is this goes on the bottom to protect oh see I heard him something. Protect the engine. Alright, so I crossed back over the river. Really it's a creek. And we are headed back. There is a lot more stuff to show you. So we'll have to do another one of these hikes and even seasonal, there's just so many different things. And we also have turkeys out here so maybe we can get some footage of turkeys. I've even seen uh, like auburn squirrels, auburn colors. And maybe I got that on video. <laughs> you know, you always see what's in front of you, but if you have the video rolling like this, maybe I can see what happened behind me. <laughs> Oh. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Thank you for joining friends and family. I can't wait to take you on the next journey. Have a beautiful and wonderful day.